Rahim. Assalamu alaikum dear candidates. This will be our fifth lecture on our ongoing short crash course on current affairs. Today we will discuss China-Pakistan economic corridor, what would be its dividends for China and how it will prove to be game changer for Pakistan. Andrew Small in his book China-Pakistan Access in the beginning of the introduction has labeled Pakistan's relation with China that Pakistan is China's Israel. It must be noted that when terrorism was at its, at its peak, when there was no any country willing to invest in Pakistan, it was China that showed it, its interest in investing in this country. When Xi Jinping visited Pakistan in May 2013. Originally, CPEC was conceived at $47 billion and now as of 2020, it has crossed more than $70 billion. CPEC is intended to promote connectivity across Pakistan through a network of highways, railways, fiber optics accompanied with a network of energy, industrial and other infrastructural projects to boost Pakistan critical energy shortages needed to improve Pakistan industrial growth. Now, why China wants to invest in Pakistan through its flagship project of China-Pakistan economic corridor? Due to three reasons. Number one, it wants to circumvent India's Malacca, state of Malacca, because 85% of China's imports oil imports go through the state of Malacca. Number two, reason is the get uh, Xinjiang province that connects Pakistan uh, with China. It contributes 20% to the economy of China. And number three, 30% of the uh, Chinese population resides in, the, in its Xinjiang province region. So it wants to develop its this region. So now the question arises that how CPEC can be game changer for Pakistan. The CPEC project is based upon three phases. Number first phase includes early harvest projects. It includes energy, connectivity projects except railways. Number two, second phase is the trade and industrial parks as well as financial cooperation. And number third phase is agricultural development, poverty alleviation, tourism, and cultural exchange programs. Now, the question arises that how CPEC can be game changer for Pakistan? I will prove it in the nine major points. Number first, it will boost Pakistan's GDP growth rate because there are nine special economic zones in Pakistan which are in, uh, in the Sindh, Punjab, Balochistan, KPK, Gilgit Baltistan, Islamabad, as well as Azad Jammu and Kashmir. So, IMF has projected that that CPEC projects, especially nine special economic zones, when they start, they will add almost 0.3 percent of annual GDP growth rate towards Pakistan. And number second is the improvement in infrastructure. CPEC will improve Pakistan's infrastructure because there are the central routes, eastern routes and western route that as well as there, the, there is also there are also the ML, ML1 project that includes railways. So Pakistan is not only improving its roads, railways but also ports and shipping. Third is the regional connectivity. See Pakistan lies at the tri-junction of South Asia, Central Asia and Southwest Asia. It will not include all these countries, but it will also become the hub of uh, trade, commerce, and it will also have strategic leverage on all of these regional countries. Number fourth is the employment. Currently, it employs more than 80,000 people of Pakistan locally, as well, skilled as well as non-skilled labor. And when it will uh, become the fruitful, so as of 2030, it will employ more than 7 lakh people of Pakistan. 
एंड नाउ दिक्कत पॉइंट इज द एनर्जी सी पैक हैज इन्वेस्टेड हैविली इन इट्स एनर्जी प्रोजेक्ट सो देर आर थर्कोल प्रोजेक्ट न्यू रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी प्रोजेक्ट सो इट हैज एडिड thousands of megawatt to the national grid of pakistan number 7th is the tourism sector since the third phase of cpec includes promotion of tourism so china has in shown interest in developing the coastal belt that includes more than 1046 kilometers and number 8th is the is the financial cooperation and monetary stability since The, the bilateral transition will include yuan and renminbi so there will be monetary stability between pakistan and china because china will replace dollar and will introduce its own currency of yuan number 9th is the public private partnership through its public private partnership china has invested heavily in the karachi circular railway project and peshawar mass, mass transit system lahore orange line and cross border fiber optics it is also uh, it is uh, through public private partnership the uh, chinese government is also working to develop the local sector of pakistan such as sanitation and local government or tank last point that how cpec can be game changer for pakistan it will help pakistan to reduce anti state sentiments I mean, there are some anti-state sentiments in Balochistan, Sindh, as well as the northern areas and Fata. So, when the CPEC project will be completed, it will employ a number of thousands of people, and it will also uh, reduce poverty, increase employment. In this way, it will help Pakistan to reduce anti-state sentiments and prove to be the game changer for not only Pakistan but the region in general. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.